In this video, I want to show you uh, what to do when you want to reuse a quiz. Let's say you used a quiz this year with your current class, and you decide you want to take the exact same quiz and use it again next year with that set of students. Um, I want to show you what you need to do so that you don't have to necessarily make a whole new copy of this quiz and then have multiple versions of it in your drive. Um, the way that you're going to do this is you're going to open up the quiz first. We have over here the little tab with all the questions, and then we have the tab with responses, and you'll see that I have 46 students that took this quiz this year and filled everything out. Um, what you're going to do at the end of the school year is you're going to go down in here and you're going to wipe away all of these answers. I want to show you this in kind of a uh, two-step process. Uh, the first step is this. Over here, you'll notice that you've got this little view responses and sheets button over here. And if you click this, then what it'll do is it'll take all of your answers and export them to a spreadsheet. So I'm in the habit of doing that for all of my quizzes, and that produces a spreadsheet that looks like this. So the first thing I might do is I might go up here to this spreadsheet and I might rename this instead of quick quiz responses, I might uh, add the year into this thing. So 2019 quick quiz responses. And so that just changes the name on this spreadsheet. I'm going to go back over here now to my Google form and uh, I'm going to do two things. The first thing I'm going to do is go to this little jelly bean button. And I'm going to unlink the form. What that will do is that will unlink my form from my spreadsheet. So once I click this thing, I'll get this little notice here. Make sure you read through that. And then when I click unlink, none of the data that comes into this form will populate into this spreadsheet anymore. So it basically takes the spreadsheet and locks it in time. And this is now a spreadsheet with all of my data from last year. So if I want to hold on to last year's data, I can do that in the spreadsheet over here. I can then go back over to my uh, quiz, and then here's the really key part. I'm going to go up to this jelly bean menu again over here, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down and I'm going to click delete all responses. All right, one word of caution. When you delete all responses, it will delete all of the responses from the Google form itself. It does not delete the responses from the spreadsheet. So that's why I took the spreadsheet and decoupled it from the form first so that I could have all of those responses kind of locked in time. I'm now going to delete all the responses from this Google form. And now that I've deleted all those responses, it's basically like my form is back to its day one status. So I deleted all of my students' data from last school year, but I still have that archived over here in this spreadsheet from last year. And my form now is ready to use again. So I can uh, launch a Google Classroom next school year. I can drop this form in here, and then I can collect all of my current year students' data, and it won't be mixed up with any of my past data. So I would do all the same sharing things that I would before. The other really nice thing is once this data starts to pour in and you get 10 responses, 20 responses, 30 responses, you can go back over here to this little uh, Create Spreadsheet button. And when you click that, it will now create a new spreadsheet for you. And you can call this thing like 2020 quick responses. And so when you create that, you now have two spreadsheets. You have one with all of the data from last year's students and now a new spreadsheet that will have all of the data for this year's students. So one form used again and again year over year. And then we can populate all of those responses into different spreadsheets.